What's going on YouTube? So I wanted to make a video talking about steps that you can do to improve your efficiency at the computer. Uh, pretty much, you know, if you're an average person, you spend a lot of time on the computer and probably a lot of that time is wasted. Uh, so let's get right into it. Personally, I started off um, with pretty shitty efficiency. I was only actually getting good work done less than half the time, which is pretty terrible considering you know all the stuff that you have to do in a day there's just not enough hours in the day so what did I do I was able to double my efficiency and I'm gonna share my story so the first step in this process was uh, adding screen space I was originally working on a 13 inch MacBook Pro and honestly when you've got a lot of work to get done it just doesn't cut it I was able to pick up two monitors on Craigslist for like 40 bucks um, doesn't have to be super expensive honestly d two monitors might be too much for some people but if you've got a lot of work to get done and you're working off a small laptop screen, it's just going to end up getting cluttered and it's going to be challenging to get things done. So that's my first recommendation. Um, definitely get some more screen real estate depending on what you're doing. So the next step, which probably made uh, the biggest difference, is avoiding distractions. And I'm able to do that utilizing a software called Rescue Time. Uh, which pretty much tra keeps track of all the uh, information um, on my computer tracking what activities I'm doing that way I can see how efficient I'm do I am. Th those were uh, the graphs that you saw on the, f the slide before were from Rescue Time and I'm gonna show you guys that in a little bit. So Self Control is uh, is an app for the for Macs only that's free which is nice um, that pretty much blocks any website that you determine is blacklisted and you block it for a determined period of time that way you're able to uh, avoid distractions when you're trying to get some work done and finally shut down, shut off your notifications on the computer uh, cell phone etc so because we're doing a screen capture here I'm gonna show you guys what rescue time looks like so rescue time is a software like I said um, if you notice up here there's a little icon and it's pretty much monitoring everything I'm doing so I can click go to dashboard um, and that should pull up a safari page uh, there we go so this is my dashboard this is the time that I've got logged today uh, and it'll show you hour by hour, it shows you what you're doing, which applications you're using, etc. Uh, and you can come up with different reports, you can change your goals, there's a lot of other things, but that's the gist of it. I didn't want to go too much into that. Um, a great feature with Rescue Time, that, that unfortunately is a premium feature, but it's really useful, is this feature called Get Focused. Uh, so you can set in a lot of period of time and it will pretty much block any websites um, that will reduce your productivity that you've determined very distracting. So I use this uh, very often and it's uh, great. Uh, if you don't feel like paying for it, you can go with self-control for the Mac. Um, and then the last uh, tip is to shut off notifications. So on the Mac, uh, in the new operating system, they've got the notification center in the top right of the screen. So I already have mine shut off. Um, so I'll show you how to shut it off yourselves. So over here, it's nice. You get all these notifications. Um, unfortunately, it can be really kind of uh, cumbersome way if you're trying to get some work done. So really easy way to shut this off is you put your mouse over that, you just hold down the option key on your on your mouse and then click it and you see it goes to gray which has turned it off, okay? So then you won't get any distractions while you're doing it. So let's get back to the presentation. The next step uh, which is really essential is employing the Pomodoro technique. So basically what this means is you have to figure out what task you're going to do first. So whatever you're going to do, decide this is the task that I'm going to focus my energies on. Because ultimately, if you're all scattered brained, it's going to be very challenging to get anything done. So you focus on one task, you set a timer for 25 minutes. I personally set a timer on my computer, you can set a timer on your phone, whatever you have to do, but you need to be uh, strict with your timing. So the ideal time is 25 minutes. I found that I can do 30 or 35 minutes, but Really, I, you, get, you seem to get the most quality work done if you do it like this. So set the timer for 25 minutes. You work on the task until you, the timer stops. And then now this is very important that you record how many times you've, you've gone through these 25-minute blocks. And after every 25-minute block, you take a short break. I take five-minute breaks. Uh, and again, with these breaks, it's important to use your timer because five minutes is pretty short. It's very easy to overdo that and end up taking a 15-minute break when you don't really have that kind of time to waste. So take a, a five minute break, be strict with that, and then every four uh, of these 25 minute bl blocks take a longer break, usually around 15 to 30 minutes. And again, all your breaks should also be timed, that way you, you're ensuring that you're kind of keeping on top of yourself. 
And finally is keep a notepad. So this is important for two things. The first, you need to track your 25 minute blocks. That way you know when to take your big uh, break. And then really important is to jot down ideas that you come up with while you're working. So uh, for instance, if you're working on a certain task, say you're writing an article in Microsoft Word, um, and you have this idea, oh, and you think, oh, I need to email this person. As opposed to stopping what you're doing and emailing them, you just jot down, okay, email, the, email this person, you write a note of that. That way you can take care of little tasks like that during your five minute breaks or during your longer breaks. That way you're not distracted and doing multiple different things. So I'll show you the application that I use to use a timer. Um, it's called all and off timer and it looks just like this. It's really simple. I got it in the app store from uh, in the Apple app store. And then for notes, I just use the stickiest note, which is pretty nice. So it, it looks just like this. Um, I keep these on one of my monitors that usually the, the, not my primary monitor that I'm using. And then during the study break right here, this is where I jot down my notes. And then this is where I keep a tally of my 25 minute breaks. And then this is just my reminder that after four cycles, I get a 30 minute break. So uh, I hope this was useful. Uh, those are the tips to improve your productivity and your efficiency at the computer.